two-way tables and categorical data. Here's a problem where we have we have two date two uh, variables. One is type of driver, it's students or staff members, and you have the type or the make of the the car. We have American, European, and Asian. What you see in the table is the different counts for each of the categories. So the students that owned American cars was 107. The staff members that owned American cars was 105. European students 33. Staff tw uh, European was 12, and and so forth. So what we want to do is we would just this is really just a good review for your categorical two-way uh, distributions. We we talked about marginal distributions. We talked about conditional distributions and so a lot of these questions do a really good job of asking those questions and um, directing you to think about do they have an influence are they independent things like that so let's get started first question is what percent of all the cars surveyed were foreign well yeah you need to define what it means to be foreign well foreign cars would be the non or in this case non-american and so uh, we would want to know that percentage. So in order for me to do this, I need to sum the rows and the columns. Now I'm going to sh go through the answers in just a minute, but we're going to answer the questions. Um, so in order to find out the percentage of the cars, what you would need to know is the sum of the European cars, the sum of the Asian cars, divided by the total number of cars, period. And what you can do, you can add those cars together, let me just go ahead and reveal that. Let me just delete this. So what you can see at the bottom down here, foreign cars are not American. You see that there's a, a 45 plus 102 that gives us 147 cars. If we total up the European and the Asian cars total. If we, wrote, if we find the, the marginal sums, and you'd find out that there's 359 cars total. And so when we divide the sum by 359, you get 40.95%. The next question says, what percentage of the car, American cars, were owned by students? Well, now it's giving you a condition. It's saying, well, I don't, I'm, I'm not interested in the foreign cars at any point. I want to know about the American cars. So now we're looking at just the row of Americans. We already have the sum. Okay, We want to know out of 212, what percent of the American cars were owned by students? So we look at the Americans, we look at the students, 107 out of 212, you can see that down here is 50.47. The qu next question was what percent of students, uh, what percent of percent, that's great, what percent of the students owned American cars? So at this point, what we're really looking at is students. So we look at the total number of students, there's 195 students, period. We want to know out of that group how many of those students owned American cars. So 107 out of the 195, you can see that at the bottom, owned American cars. And that would end up being 54.87%. Now we get to a very general question. It says, what is the marginal distribution of origin? Well, that really wants to know out of the totals, it's talking about margin, just marginal distribution. So I want to know these totals, and I would need to know each total. And so we do the total of the Americans out of the total number of cars, period. Then we would do European total out of the total of cars, period. The Asian total out of the cars, period. And you can see that at the bottom in just a second. We would have American would be 59.05%. The European cars would be 12.53. And Asian would be 28.47. Double check your, your answers. That one should be fairly easy. We could also ask, what is the marginal distribution of, of type of driver? And you could tell me, well, out of the cars, what percentage were students, what percentage would have been staff members. The next question says, what are the conditional distributions of origin by driver classification? Now that's a bit confusing. You have two ways. I could group it as the condition as t driver, or I could make the condition European. Well, based on the way the question is asked, it's saying, what are the conditional distributions of origin? for the driver classification. So out of the students, can you tell me the percentages that had American, European, and Asian? That's because I want to know about origin. 
and of the staff members, what were the American, European, and Asian classifications that way? We scroll down just a little bit. Okay, for student distribution, we have American as 40, 54.87%, European at 60.92, and Asian is 28.1. Remember, if you look at the question, it says, what is the conditional distributions of the origin? So that means I want percentages for origins. And it's based on, in other words, I want you to isolate that, not in the whole group in general, not for marginal distributions, so we won't be using the total of the whole table. I'm using just the totals of each of the driver classifications. And you can also look at that for the staff members, and it'd be very similar. 64.02, European is 7.32, Asian 28.66. The next question says, do you think the origin of car is independent of driver type? Remember when we looked at this last time, we needed to look at the percentages. Now we, we the question before that, and a lot of these questions are, are, are designed to lead you through the steps. Right? We have marginal distributions right here, so if we just look at it in general, there they are. If we wanted to isolate it based on type of driver, we have the different percentages broken down also. The next question, leading you right out of that information, are they independent? If they were, then all the percentages would be about the same. In this case, unfortunately, the, the percentages are quite different. Americans, 10% uh, different. Here in European, not quite as big a difference, but still 7, 8, 9% somewhere in that area. Still big enough to make a very large difference. This one's actually doubled the value. And of course, in Asian, that's actually fairly close. Now, we, if we compare them to the marginal distributions, Asian was 28.41. You look here and you think, okay, well, Asian doesn't seem to have that much influence, depending on if you're a staff member or you're a student. However, American and European do have a very large difference. It seems that for a staff member, it's more likely that you would drive an American car. And for a student, you would be more likely in terms of this and this comparison, be more likely to drive a European than a, than a staff member would be. Okay, now how could I show that? Um, the percentages are nice, but it's really obvious when I create bar charts or pie charts to show the difference in the distributions. Well, here it is for students, here it is for the staff members, and you can show that the pies or the pieces are, are not the same size. You could even compare them back to the original marginal saying that, well, it's here it is overall. Okay, students and staff members have a different distribution than the overall distribution, so it does make a difference. They are not independent, so they would be dependent on driver. And you would notice the biggest difference in the American and Europeans, and that's how you would answer this particular question. Know this, okay, this, um, this two-way table type of questions is definitely going to be on your benchmark, so... Um, if you have questions about this, look through this. Um, try to do this on your own without looking at the solutions um, and recreate them. Uh, if you have questions, please bring them with you to class.